Hello, and thank you for joining us for this Onc Live TV Peer Exchange. This program will feature an expert panel discussion focused on the treatment of advanced soft tissue sarcoma through a multidisciplinary approach. I'm Dr. Brian Van Tyne, and I am a medical oncologist. I am an assistant professor of medicine and the sarcoma program director at Washington University in St. Louis at the Seitman Cancer Center, which is also at Barnes and Jewish Hospital. Joining me today are as an, ex an exceptional panel of world leaders in the treatment of sarcoma. The first is Dr. Robin Jones, who's a medical consultant at the Royal Marsden Hospital at the Institute of Cancer Research in London. Next joining me is Dr. Shreyas Kumar Patel, the Robert R. Herring Distinguished Professor of Medicine, the Medical Director of the Sarcoma Center, and the Deputy Chairman for the Department of Sarcoma Medical Oncology at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. Next joining me is Dr. Laura Randall, who is the LB and all of S. Young Endowed Chair for Cancer Research and Director of Sarcoma Services, the Medical Director of Surgical Services, all at the Huntsman Cancer Institute at the University of Utah. Next is Dr. Jonathan Trent, who is an Associate Director for Clinical Research and the Director of Sarcoma Medical Research Program at the Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine. And then Dr. Andrew Wagner, who is also joining us today, is Assistant Professor of Medicine at the Harvard Medical School and a Senior Physician of Adult Oncology in the Center for Sarcoma and Bone Oncology at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Thank you for joining us today, so I'd like to get started. So I'd like to begin by discussing soft tissue sarcoma today, how they're diagnosed and how they're classified. So Dr. Patel, if you could begin by telling us and educating us a little bit about the prevalence of soft tissue sarcomas and maybe a little bit of a discussion of the common subtypes. Sure. So this is a very rare group of tumors. I think it's important for our audience to realize that these are groups of diseases rather than one disease. They are rare in the sense that of the 1,650,000 plus cancers diagnosed in the United States in a calendar year, you have a little less than 12,000 that are soft tissue sarcomas as predicted by the American Cancer Society. There have been issues related to is this incidence appropriate and correct or not, but these are the best numbers that we have. As for prevalence, the question that you brought up, it's a much harder number to come by. We don't even know how we would define prevalence. Somebody who had a tumor that was resected and is currently free of disease, does that person count or not, right? So I, I think the prevalence is much harder a number to come by, but the incidence is under 12,000 uh, a year. There are at least 50 plus subtypes of soft tissue sarcomas. Uh, many of these have individual characteristics where they behave different from a biologic standpoint. There are going to be therapeutic considerations that we will be talking about throughout the next uh, hour, hour and a half. And what are the more common subtypes? So if you look at uh, most of the registry data, the top three or four common subtypes would be lyomyosarcoma, liposarcoma, which is actually a mixed bag of about four or five different subtypes, but look at that as adipocytic sarcomas, as our European colleagues like to call it, liposarcomas as we call them in the United States. You have this entity that used to be called malignant fibrous histiocytoma that's now reclassified as an undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma. So a nondescript spindle cell sarcoma that does not have any specific differentiation would be the third most common. And then there is a smattering of variety of others that are reported as synovial sarcomas, angiosarcomas, rhabdomyosarcomas, et cetera, et cetera. 